to Psalms 119. We're going to look at a, a series for the next uh, few weeks on Wednesday nights, the importance of the Word of God. And uh, as you turn in there to Psalms 119, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, I just ask you, Lord God, that you would just show us, show us the, the direction in which you desire, Lord. Help us to understand the importance of your Word. Help us, Father, to be found obedient to your Word and faithful to you, Lord. Father, may no one see or hear me, but Father, they hear and see you. We love and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. And as we're looking at this, the importance of the Word, the first part that we're going to look at tonight is the Word of God is light. Psalms 119, 105, the Scripture says, Your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Many times when we see that verse, it's a verse that we probably have heard many times. But what we have to notice here in this verse is it talks about your word, meaning the Lord's word is a lamp where? At our feet. Our feet are the things in which are to go in the direction in which Lord has called us to go. The direction in where we need to be obedient. The direction in where and how we are to get there. But then when we notice the feet, that is the way in which we are to go. But when we notice the last part, it says a light into the path. The path is in which the Lord has laid out for us to go. And here's the thing. Many times people say, I'm not sure about what the Lord has called me to do or how to accomplish what the Lord has called me to do. And one of the first questions I always ask, what's He showing you in your quiet time? What's He showing you in the Word? Nine times out of ten, they say, well, I'm not reading. I'm not having my quiet time. And I say, well, if you'll start having your quiet time and reading the Word of God, you'll start finding that path. But check out what happens. When the Lord reveals that path to us, the Scripture shows us there in that verse, it will be lit. It won't be dark. It won't be confusing. It won't be doubt. Many times you probably have had to wander out outside to go get something. You may have left something in your car or something out in the shed. And, and you ran out the door real quick and the next thing you realize you forgot the flashlight inside. So you go, well, it's too much trouble to go find the light so I'm going to just meander there. Well, guess how you walk to the shed or to the car? You walk very tenderly and, and cautious and, and you're not sure about your footing, about your step. Now let's reverse the process. You realize you need to go to the car, go to the shed. You reach over, you grab your flashlight. You go out the door to go to where you need to go in the dark. You turn the light on. It lights the path and where you're to walk. You walk your no normal pace, you walk your normal stride, and you see exactly where to step. So when we look at this verse, we understand that the Word is to be the lamp to our feet. Meaning the, the Word of God is to direct us. It is to be our light. And then we understand that the Word of God is to portray, to show us the path and where He wants us to go. So my challenge to you and even to myself tonight, or tonight as we look at this, is the Word of God your light? Is it what's leading you? Let's pray. Father, I pray, Lord God, that Your Word will be so important to us, Lord that we will not step out in the dark and on our own power and our own strength and our own understanding. But Father, when we step out, we'll step out in obedience to Your Word, allowing Your Word to lead us and guide us in the places and where You desire for us to be. We love and praise You.